Hello everybody and welcome back to my Mass Effect Andromeda walkthrough. We're um, gonna play a little bit more of it tonight. And I am really, really looking forward to it. I was really interested in the game last night when I played it. And we're just gonna no sugarcoat it. And I think we're just gonna hop right into it, man. Because, like, that game had me, like, going. My controller batteries are low. I didn't think they would get this low that fast. So, if I go silent at all, between now and in the next 30 seconds, I'm changing controllers, battery batteries, really fast. So, I can stream this in peace. And I don't have to worry about my controller dying. All right, we should be back. Is the audio fine? Should be. If not, I'm gonna go look. Yep, we should be fine, audio-wise. Now this is part two. I'm gonna try to play as much as I can tonight. Casually moving my TV so I can like sit in a chair rather than on my bed while I play this because life. And you know, like when I sit on my bed and play games, like I don't have usually have like a pillow or something behind me, so like, I don't have the back support and it's really uncomfortable after a while so I just decided to move my TV my small TV to my bed that I'm playing on and I'm just gonna adjust it put it right here oh I like this I'm enjoying this already so without further ado let's get back into Mass Effect Andromeda. Dude, I've been excited for this game since it came out. And like, I just know we're supposed to get major thunderstorms, so if my internet goes out or something, I'm going to be really kind of frustrated. I should probably close some stuff. While we load in. What you mean stop blaming Netflix? I did, did I did I did I blame Netflix for my technological troubles? Power. 
Okay. So what's the objective exactly? Speak with Director Tan at Pathfire Headquarters. Let's talk to Addison. Right. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. She's still a bitch. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Oh, wow, all that matters is he's gone. Wow. Moment, what a life. dick's thing this. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. Oh, that was a uh, Ben ride joke. This is home. I this just got that. Mess. Hi, Ma. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Welcome. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy to be away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Hi, human. Uh. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. I feel that. I'm sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him. Interesting. Trust him the to cat. Us. It's an interesting name for a bad group of people. Military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Oh, goddamn poetry. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder. It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed, she's them, still a bitch. I still well hate her. Hundred years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're. Well, offering. because he's freaking dead. I won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Okay, bitch. Your funeral. Something like that? You get used to it. My guy looks nothing like me. I, 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 I kind of bugs me. Results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanis was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? Need anything, come see me, even if it's just a it sucks, man, because Ben doesn't have like Xbox Gold. Because he's in court right now. 
Yeah, ask him about the cat. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. True. That's the cat. brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Candros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor, and her cousin Irene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen, Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Okay, you're, what's your role? You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cats found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Goodbye. Bye, Kendros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. See, he uses my title. I don't know who the fuck this is. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. No, I don't want to do that. Journal. Primary assets. Holy shit, people are sending me long paragraphs right now. I need, I don't think I talked to everyone. Oh, Yokora, my it wasn't baby! That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge of you. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt with a serious, serious blow. blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't, it wasn't here, here when we left the Milky Way. Way. Yet it yeah, rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens we ran into. The cat. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. 
They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on them. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Uh, don't play games. Uh, yeah, let's not play games. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the pathfinder you pretend to be. Holy oh, shit, firing shots. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, please see me and Sam with the Hyperion. Your import needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Huh. I need to speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Oh my god, there's so much to do! I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. Good point, I did start it. Lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Probably, and you're a fucking paranoid piece of shit. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get you, yeah. Hey, man. Third time this week. It's getting worse with small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. <laughs> and now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion died. Yeah. Can I just like stay how fucking Wait. fantastic my guy's That's hair it. is? Like, that is the best you part on him. Be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the location. Dude, to there's already so much to do, and we just done. started the game. Holy fuck! Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. What does that mean, like, up here? Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out.
And of course, it's gonna be the last fucking panel. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. I just find it kind of weird that like this implant in my head knows like everything like where the fuck is it wait a minute oh it's down here this is a thing that exists Here we go. Let's confront this SOB. Dude, my guy runs fast as fuck, boy. She literally just magically appeared here. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I've never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer... Why is everybody's... To your Omni -tool. Eyes blue. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up... I just don't understand. The data that Kellis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're on the run. I'll check out the security cameras. Raj, you there? Yes. Yeah, yeah. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile. Dude, this is such like a big game. I, I, it's amazing that I've only played about two hours of this game. This game is certainly gonna take a while to play through. Security food dead. This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Candros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. 
Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. This person is not a match. Biometrics do not match. And of course... So it's down here. Is it really all? Oh my god. Like this game is so great so far. Like I'm digging this. Biometrics do not match. Son of a bitch. Got him. I just feel like this is this. Scan was hey, he's right. Atkins, right. We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. We know what you've been up to. You're done here. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just doing my job. That's all. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had- The traitor is Spongebob. I'm done I talking. don't need I it. it. Do whatever you want. I we definitely don't no need it. Wait, you- You'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave and you don't come back. I'll leave. Ayo, reached level three. I got skill points to spam pro. Oh, we fuck. What about Cora and Liam? Yeah, she's got two. He's got two. Uh, <sighs> oh no, I like the assault rifles. Cora, my baby. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it.
Holy moly, so. That's the docks. Oh, wait. Did I seriously not go back? Go to operation, that's where we need to go. Seriously though, this game is pretty interesting. Like, I'm not gonna lie, there's so much to do. Like I'm already feeling overwhelmed because like I hate having more than like one mission aside. Excuse me. <sighs> At the same time because like it's just fucking insanity. So let me go to my journal. I gotta speak with Sam on the Hyperion. I don't need it. Now, how exactly do I get to that? Is it where I think it is? I was literally just fucking down here. Holy fuck. Like, I was literally down here talking to Dale. Shit's that way. Get the fuck out of my way. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best to speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... Me. Me. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and your skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation to combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact as himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over you. Providing an enhancement to It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father needs someone to it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experience, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wasn't know. And Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, I will lose ship away. Thanks. Thanks.
Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implant for superior battlefield performance. Yeah, let me go with depth right now. Because, I mean, I'm running a bunch of biotic stuff, so I mean, I might as well. Hold on it. Okay. Hold on a quick second. I forgot to go get a drink before I started. I'm gonna go get a can of soda real quick. Hold up. I am back. Okay, let's start scanning shit. of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam Node on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. Huh? <laughs> True. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking oh my, my memory God. array may enable it. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband. His voice is so, like, abnormally deep. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Learity's son. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. 
pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Um. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and a sorry, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Okay. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say, the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Thank you. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. DePera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Jim. I'm gonna log off and just continue the story. So we have to go into. I'm actually kind of curious uh, as to what this memory is. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, I'm actually putting my controller down for this. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive. But an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. That's rough. Rest in peace. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's watch my mom. Life. It's terminal. Not on my watch. The white ass is here. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, fam. <sighs> Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. Well, him and I have a lot in common then. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. 
private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. And yeah, I'm not worry about that. that. They are currently locked. They may get no answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for that. Of course, of course. Yeah, of course. Here we go. Okay. Let me go to my journal. So, like, these are primary fo- Oh, wait, those are allies and relationships. So, it's, uh... I mean, uh... Those are, like, stuff we could do on the ship. But I kind of want to go to my ship current... Currently. And get the actual, like, campaign started. Because those were fucking side quests. Like... Even like the like, I've never played a game where the side quests are so good. Like it makes it feel like it's an actual part of the primary story, but in reality, it's really not. Like they're just side stuff. Like, this game is so big. I love how my dude's always jogging, man. Like, Dark and Bay, here we go. Holy fuck! Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. What's up, baby? But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. She is sexy as fuck. Holy fuck, what a ship. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So Seth, can you share? Uh, you why the- what the fuck? Why exactly Petra. do you want to phone Petronet. sex me? What the Initiative fuck? Wrangler, provisioner, gunner, and everything. What are you, fucking gay? Are we ready? Not that there's a problem with that, but what are you, better. gay? You're coming with us? Yes, otherwise there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Hey, Vetra. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? You came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. Bullshit, you're just saying that. Wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Um. Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, she's a that. fucking bitch. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. 
more achievements. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ars Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. This will be an adventure. Really but hey, Vetra, it's a fantastic adventure because I get to go on it with you. Hey, 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 romance. A pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Go to the bridge and we're ready to go. I came, you call me a shit sexy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it is a sexy ship, but I didn't realize you were a fucking ship. What the fuck? The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Liam, my nigga. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones. Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after worth three. <laughs> if the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Should I have 20 in Milky Way too? Well, I think we're gonna fucking save that, dude. So yeah, wow, shit, here we fucking go. Wonder how fast that engine will get you. Well, maybe you'll just have to find That's out. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, and keep any specimen safe. Kinky. Hey. Kidding. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Sam. Hey, Liam. Stop, stop saying hey, you fucking Jew. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Sorry, to Alexi. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. Come by after launch, and we can catch up properly. Cora! 
on my baby. Ryder, finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. Ready when you are. Okay, so I guess I can't really like. Uh, so we're up here. Oh, fuck. You know, we'll go check out my room later. I really just want to get this going. Where's my room? Just like right down here. Wait, is this my room? Holy fuck. Sam's router is down there, too. Wardrobe! Long sleeves. Jacket. Oh, I like the jacket. Let's go with the fucking jacket, dude. Oh my god. Email. Run the email terminal. Uh, I don't really want to do that one. Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Okay, good. So let's just go to the bridge for now. We go. Oh, dude, I look so badass. Departure trajectory locked, trajectory Nexus locked. Control. Control. Ah, time for introductions. Time for introduction. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jab. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through here. Oh shit. I'll keep us out of trouble, baby. Plenty of dangers, Plenty out, there, of dangers out there. But I'll do my best, to avoid, best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. Angry cloud. I, was I was test pilot for the test Tempest's, test Tempest's early. I look fucking my guy looks fucking lost, dude. She performs out here. Fuck use this shit, dude. So how do I the console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone Why does Liam look stoned as fuck? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Wow, it was deep. Nexus Holy control. Fuck. This is the Tempest. Ident two five two seven. Prepping to depart. Oh my God, dude, this ship is sexy. Departure vector verified. Tempest finder. That looks fucking sick. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Oh no, I'm curious to go try with other galaxies. Oh. 
Holy shit, dude. This is sick. Whoa, my eyes are getting tripped out the fucking shit, though. Holy this is about shit. As as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well. Let's see what's waiting here. Anomaly detected. Flying probe. Probes launched. Oh, that's Tapping how that works. Let's go look at this asteroid. This is actually really fucking sick, dude. Like, I could truly get used to this. They get some progression on like visiting like every point, all right, looking at every planet in that like general area. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. If you run out of fuel, I'm alive. I, I, I haven't seen a fuel gauge. I have not, I have honestly not seen a goddamn fuel gauge, so I think we're in the clear. Oh my god. Oh, black hole. Wait, why did I click? It wouldn't be funny, dude, because we just fall out of the fucking sky. And then kaboom, we go. So I got a hundred percent on there. So I just, let's just go here. System, Pythias. Andromeda 
Designated EOS. EOS. It was supposed to be an easy first day. Until no one else showed, and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What do we hear, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. So well, we're gonna go tour this place. Or this system. And then we're gonna go to EOS. This probably is not like the most fun thing to do. But I will admit it is really cool. Hey look it's a Saturn looking planet. Ship. Quick question. How's the how's the mic volume right now? I turned it down a little bit, so maybe the game volume will be a little higher. Am I still sounding okay? If not, I can turn it back up a little bit, but you guys were I'm trying to see if that'll fix. Which actually go out here. Anomaly detected. Oh, fuck. Huh. Interesting. Am I too quiet? Alright, good. I mean, do you think I can get away with turning myself down a little bit more? Or just, is this perfect the way it is? Hmm. Shit, another fucking, whatever the fuck that word is. Anonymy. Whatever the fuck. Fire probe. Satellite detected. Oh shit, it's a satellite. Okay. Here we go, we're going to fucking EOS. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. 
If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Okay. So. We're going to EOS. Do you wish to disembark Tempest? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Holy ball sacks. So we're gonna keep that. So we're. So we can go Vetra or Lee. You know, we're gonna bring Vetra and Liam on this trip. Up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callo. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. Liam's looking at me like he wants to like butt fuck me or something. I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Uh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... Hearing things. Other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. They didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home.
Alrighty. I'm sorry, I had to step away for a second. So, EOS! Here we fucking go. Why is there a vehicle to print? Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> yeah, this man's too intelligent for this bullshit. Um. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. Oh shit. There we go, that's what I wanted. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? I'm so lost. Well, I need to be scanning for some. Wait, was that door open a while ago? Got a code lock key. That should help. Get us in. We suffered our first death today. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Mm. Oh shit, wrong button.
Oh, I got a sniper rifle. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Allison thinking sending us here? He else might have looked right back in the Milky Way, but I'm close. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter, perimeter, that would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay. I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger? It's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Hey, we were supposed to be starting generators. Yeah, really? Is that a problem? There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Company.
fuck was that? There's an enemy on my radar. Yeah. They weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station. What the fuck? You took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though, if that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Hear, hear. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable uh, yeah, limits. You that. cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason okay. to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Uh, scan containers to find a vehicle. I don't feel like returning to the Tempest right now. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. like the forward station supplies are intact downloading nomad crate access code well oh, i can change my loadout in here that's pretty fucking sick
Unlock the Nomad container. That is actually fucking sick, dude. The Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? What the fuck did that just do? Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Oh shit, it took me off the planet. Fuck, noted. But well, we might as well do some shit on the ship real quick. I have no clue Come what the here. fuck Lexi was looking for you. Lexi. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna talk to some people on the ship real quick. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Doctor Oh, I love her Laura. accent already. To act as oh my god. Between your crew and the Nexus Science team. What do you mean liaison? Are you going to tell on me? Of course not. Not interested in politics. I advise only on the science. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. What the fuck? You crazy. A lot of pages. About dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months for a synop synopsis summary. I would have preferred the, the use of the word synopsis. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We are the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So, will you be joining us on missions? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. Um. Oh, that big heart. I'm good I with could guns show and you. Danger. Oh, let's you do it, motherfucker. Sure okay I appreciate the offer, but I'm happy where Aww. I am. Tinkering in labs. And, uh, in case you offer it's hoping to get to know me better, that's not gonna work. I mean, I prefer to keep things professional. I understand completely. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later then. Yo, we be getting some pussy tonight. We be getting some pussy tonight. <laughs> Jump down and say something fucking gay shit. Oh, but she fucking denied me, dude. Like, I just got fucked. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? If I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. 
Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until it Dude, she fucking destroyed me. Yeah, she destroyed my goodbye, hopes and dreams. Or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Why go for like that? Why? Still happening. Why? Though I suppose with the Salarian art missing, you might not get many chances to compare. I mean, there's tan. Yeah, <laughs> there's literally. <laughs> we'll find. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient. That's all. I should get back to it. But thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please come by any time. Oh, I will. Wait, that sounds really fucking gay. Huh, <laughs> <laughs> jump down and say something fucking gay shit. Wow, Chris. You never seem to like not amaze me with the things you say. Kek. Can y'all open this damn door? Where the fuck is Cora, man? She's my bitch. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. You know Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying ah, to get my Oh, that sounds bad. Hey, Thought I'd be waking up Horus, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Yeah, her hands are always so pop. gentle. It helps. I guess this is my yeah, opportunity totally. to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat <coughs> specimen aboard the Hyperion would be Excuse difficult, me. but here. Uh, what? A cat uh, What? For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My oh, thesis are you on now? Kogan virility and aggression I mean, I'm no is alien. what got me in the initiative. Oh, do we confer? Let's do it. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Oh. Um. Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Oh, not a patient. Fuck me, I need to be dude. able to look at you clinically without distractions. Me down. Am I distracting? Fuck not nearly as much as you think you are. Dude. But we were discussing Holy the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, yeah. average lifespan. Right. Oh, Just fuck. something to think about. Sam, make Man. sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Hey, it's a video game. I have the right to be. It's a video game, man. Cora, BB, where you at? Look at that fucking sexy nose. Pathfinder Rider to Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. <laughs> Shit, is this thing on? <laughs> me too. Let me, uh. What the fuck? Pathfinder, help oh, me. Oh, hi, I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked omni plate. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? 
<laughs> hey, hey, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. We don't know. <laughs> Funny time wow. for that beer? Hey, and I think they respect me, man. I have done so much for these guys, Being man. I deserve some massive fucking response? tail. I'm just Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few piece uh. actions. <laughs> Think about your line phase much? Uh. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. God damn it. Oh, oh, do I flirt with him too? Yo, do I do it? Do I do it, man? Do I make this game go for some fucking gay shit? Do I fucking do it? Yeah, do I fucking do it? <laughs> Yo, 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 what should I do? What should I do? Say gay shit? Alright, let's do it. Moments like this with people like you? Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys aren't my thing. But good to know I'm uh, the person. Still an answer though. Something far from home. I get it. God damn, you, that's over three. Why'd you come? That is over three. I'm running from my past. That but is over three. That is over three. God damn it. But it's bullshit. That is rough. I had family, friends, a goodie nut job. That is a rough well. life. I just heard about the initiative. This is literally me in real life. Well, this isn't literally me in real life. I believe but in the new rejection beginning. part. Still do. It's literally. I have to. We're in. I kind of feel bad for Liam now because I'm kind of doing to him what this guy is trying to do to me IRL. If it all goes wrong. It could feel like we left for no reason. <laughs> I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. Yeah. Like maybe to help with the rest. create some I'm kidding. It's not possible. It's scientifically possible. I do not think that is. Man, what else are you gonna fuck? Who's in here? Oh, hey, Pathfinder. Oh, hey, Petra. What's up? Hey, hey, I'm hey, hey, hey. Me. Hey, have I ever told Rider, you how great Sid, you my are? Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. <laughs> Ryder, I just wanted to know if... Blank. Bleeps out. So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. Oh, I would I love to explore the, the galaxy with Even you, baby. Even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get no. my hands on them. Mm. With me around, your not crew is going it. to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Oh, do I do it again? The, 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 the time has come. You're intense. I like it. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? And then the dot, dot, dots come in the chat. <laughs> Fuck him. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels. You know. Hey, technically she didn't formally shut me down, so I call we'll that a later. success in my book. <laughs> hey, she didn't turn me down. How can you be mad at that? Like, she didn't say no. She didn't say yes. It's an in between. And Willow, okay, we use this lift. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay. Hey, I mean, I didn't get rejected, technically speaking. Who's in this door? Oh, it's a dude. Yo, Yo here's another opportunity. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take Fuck the dude, Nate. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Wait a minute. Seems okay. like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I Save tend to live the way too. I work. Oh, I try to feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. So let's make it no okay. Okay, let's do it. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and oops, I just made a decision. There's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Oh, oh yeah, that's a part. Happy I'd do more service. than show you. I think you'll see that showing up is only one of my many talents. Is that right? Oh, oh. Well, I'll be sure not to blink. I want to see them all. Let me know if oh, I go too fast for you. Oh, <laughs> dude. There's no such thing. <laughs> you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she gets it. Deal? Deal. <laughs> GG, GG's in the chat, boy. <laughs> That's enough for me. Are you really done? Are you done? Why are you done? No. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That's some funny shit right there. That is some funny hey, shit. Can you drop by the bio lab? Yeah, Cora, baby. Where you at? Just the bio lab. Nice place you found. Yo, Cora, Clear. baby, Plants. baby. We already Something know. On your mind? We know you mad at me for being a pathfinder, but you know I want you, girl. What the hell was that? I want you. I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an That's Asari attractive. commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick though, like losing the old man. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained. Hey, he had no choice. I was gonna fucking die. Things. The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. It won't be easy, but the two comfort will be good. <gasps> we'll you, be good me, together. Side by side? Side by side. I like the sound of that. Hey. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Ooh. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's Ooh. still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to an Oh boy. Like this. Oh Thinking boy. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Yeah. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. And, 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 and you say you can't have enough. It's quiet when in you here. You realize I can keep the plants watered while I work. 
that First you know. Job, see if there's any news you on Sorry, you wouldn't even if they're if guys. They it, and you know, and then next expertise. thing you know, he's like, "Oh, I would like to talk, see them all." And yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so fucking fun. We're gonna go back to Eos now. I think that's a good place to start now. <laughs> Because, you know, I talked to everybody, and, you know, I kind of showed romantic interest in everybody. So, here we go. Let's go back we to fucking Neo. Really since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Let's go back to the landing zone. The worst than the next is. The scent is green. Coordinating, uh, have this call. The ship slut. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I am the fucking ship slut and I'm proud. Here we fucking go. I should start that. What the fuck? That's fucked. Oh shit. Holy shit, dude. Now, let me get the Nomad. Yo. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. How the, f how the fuck do you switch to like a left bumper? Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. There's gonna be a fight here. They're giving me ammo. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. You know what? Let's interface this. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Son of a bitch, here we go. What happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! 
Whoa, damn. Back off or I will push you down. Whoa. Holy fuck, Easy. he's at 20 he's bucks. My dude got a hard on because, you know, ride. I'm the ship slut. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through. I'm not pushing her off. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, yeah. I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who yeah. you are. Saw the ship swoop in. Get the fuck I was beginning to think yeah, the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Let's go casual. Always. Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Hey, 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 I don't mean to brag. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later! Just take them out! Holy shit. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better. Oh, well, if you don't like long, you won't like me because I'm, right. I'm pretty long. You're a mystery. If you get my drift. For months, and then you arrive and poof, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You sure it'll help EOS? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that writer. Uh huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Where the fuck is the nomad? Oh, it's right there. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then this time will be different. Right. This is our element. A scourge site is nearby Pathfinder. Remnant activity may be unstable.
Look at the map. I think I've done that one. Yeah, so that one's up ahead. Nice work. like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Holy shit balls. Okay, hi. Enforcements, do they know we're here? They've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Wow.
the fuck is that? Who are you? That was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? You can call me Ryder. I'm Drag, Clan Mackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus no shit Damn. about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flat. But do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Missing something. Wonder if I get anything else. You should be able to locate these gifts, Pathfinder. Levels have spiked to our finder. I'll be able to interface Pathfinder.
We gotta go find the... Last monolith. This component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special... I feel like after this monolith, probably gonna call it. And we'll do the like, the big, like, big thing tomorrow. Radiation levels increasing. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. Or I might just call it now. It's been over two hours. I'm getting guy tired personally. Track them back to the Ascentus Nexus. Go. Leaving at will. All clear. Yeah, good idea. Holy moly. Should have saved, but that's going to do it for now. That is episode 2 of Mass Effect Andromeda. Jesus, it's such a big game. Like, it's hard to believe I played almost, like, four hours of it. And I'm still only on, like, this planet, man. Like, there's so much to do. Everything else is freaking insanity. Absolute insanity. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's probably, like, my favorite game that I've ever played. Like, I'm really impressed with Mass Effect Andromeda. Like, I'm really happy with it right now. 40 out. Oh, my God. Uh, one, I'm not even one-fourth of the way done. This is a long, and I mean a long fucking game, and I knew that coming in. Holy shit, that's insanity. 40. LS2 is 8, dude. Like... I should probably fin get to finishing that, but I'm kind of reluctant to, personally. Um, I don't know. 
I might, I'm, I'm gonna ask for an opinion of on this, of course. Would you rather me? Would you rather see the Mass Effect Andromeda play through, or would you rather just have me finish LS two maybe tomorrow night, or I could do, wait to do LS two when I get back from my next spot because I'll be home for a little bit after that, and then I could just play Mass Effect Andromeda and just keep cracking at it. I can do that tomorrow. This, yeah, I figured as much. That is a, such an amazing game. Like, I. This, this. Yeah. Like, holy shit, dude. Like, this game has me in. Like, this is probably one of my favorite series so far. Like, the sense of humor that I'm doing. I'm being, like, I may title this video Part 2 in parentheses, or in quotation marks the ship slut probably won't cuz I don't get like flagged on YouTube or some shit but we, we get the point on that one I want to see said bang <laughs> wow dude like the day that happens dude I'll be like yo but on that note, plus the dude, I think if I'm not mistaken, you can only pick one to like proceed romance with, which is gonna be hard in the end. But right now, I'm waiting to Cora, man, because Cora is my babe. But like, seriously, it's a difficult choice so far. At least that's what I think. I think you can only go one. Um, but yeah, on that new mods from <laughs> hey, it's Xbox. I don't know if I can mod that. If it were PC, definitely. But on that note, I'm gonna sign off for the night. I'll probably stream during the day tomorrow of this, and then I'll probably stream more tomorrow night. I'm gonna set this to upload to YouTube right after I end this. I'm gonna head to bed. Just so you know I can get the second part out. But thank y'all for tuning in. And I will see you all tomorrow.